always some little nosy ass, inquisitive ass people. You know, that's why you see them at the bottom of the ocean and in the damn space, all the digging in holes in the ground. It's just be wanting to know where. This is Second Ezra six in uh, fifty four, and it says. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all creatures, of him come we all. Because a lot of people, they quick to say, when we start talking about the, the Lord only come for the nation of Israel, and Israel only going to be saved, they always say, well, ain't we all kids of Adam? Right. Yeah, we all, we all come from Adam. But the Lord had, had a chosen line, you know? He had a chosen line. When it came down through, you know, he had a, a shim, and it come down through a fox eye, down through a, a, a terror and Abraham, yeah. and then through uh, Isaac, and then through Jacob. You know, that's that was that chosen land, man. It says, Second Ezra six and fifty four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, because he did truly chose a certain people. It says, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So the whole world was made for the, for the Israelites' sake, man. This whole planet was made for us, man. But look, the majority of the Israelites are where? In America, in bondage. Yeah. The majority of the Israelites can't get on, can't even get on a plane right now and go and enjoy a, a, a day on the beach in Thailand. They can't get a passport. The majority of, of the Israelites in America, a lot of them had even never been on a plane before. The majority of them never even been outside of America, man. They ain't been nowhere but on the plantation, you know? They haven't got a pass to leave yet. But the Lord said that this right here, he says, for this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Hey Amen, that's almost savage in itself to know that the Lord made the whole world for the Israelites, and you come over here and the majority of the Israelites are in America in slavery, and, and, and more than probably half of them ain't, ain't never been outside of the United States to enjoy, uh, well, you know, I'm, you know, I guess you call it enjoy, to be in other countries and see different things, man. To eat different food that ain't probably GMO'd out. To breathe a different air that ain't chemtrailed out. To drink a different, you know, uh, uh, fresher water, like, you know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Have all of the amenities and the luxuries, you know. Because when I'm, normally when people from this side of the world go to the other countries, they treat you like, especially like black men, they treat you like shit. They treat you like you're a king and shit. But the Lord made the world for our sakes, and, and, and these niggas ain't been nowhere, man. You know. It says. Verse 56, as for the other people, which also come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Let me read that again. It says, as for the other people, which also come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but like unto spittle, like unto spit. They like ain't worth spit, you know? And has likened unto the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So if you carry a bucket of water and a little bit fall out, you ain't finna go back. You don't even care about that. So the Lord is comparing these other nations to a little bit of water that drop out of the bucket. You don't give you don't basically you don't give a shit about them. You know? Verse 57, and now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords 
over us and to devour us. So they over us, man. Look, Esau's over us right now, devouring us, man. You got the you got the uh, Moabites who are the uh, so-called Chinese. They in our neighborhoods making money hand over fist, feeding us uh feeding us them them rats and cats and dogs and shit, making money hand over foot. You got them you got them Ammonites, the so-called Japanese. They in the neighborhoods opening up restaurants. You got them Hamites, man. Over here doing making hand over foot, you know. But the main Lord that's over us is Esau, man. He that he that main that main dog that's over us right now, making money hand over foot, man. That's why we're still in captivity. It made you get a bank account, so they control everything, man. I mean, making money hand over foot. You know? The scripture said that they have come to be lords over us, man. Straight telling us what to do. They say jump, Jake said ha ha. They like, okay, master. Fall on quit rain, man. Go back to the scriptures. Oh, let's see what we got. Got a couple more. Uh, showing it's all about Israel, man. The scriptures. This this book don't pertain to none of them other heathens, man. This is not their book. This is our book. You guys got it rough tonight. Oh man, hey, we, we dealing with it. We dealing with it. This is Amos three and one. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Did not the Lord bring the Israelites out of Egypt by a strong hand? Right? He said, hear this word. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The Lord says, you only you have I known all from all the families of the earth. Out of, out of 18 nations, the Lord only knew, only knows you. He said, only you will I punish for your iniquities. That let you know all them other all them other uh, nations they can't even sin, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't no repentance for them. Cause with sin comes repentance, so they can't even repent. So they just here, man. They just here living a uh, a, a, a folly life. They really they, he said they nothing. They just living for nothing. But they living for something because they're gonna be slaves. You see, so this life they see. In, in the glamour and the lights, fast cars, nice clothes, this is really nothing. Trying to eat in fancy restaurants, man, this is nothing, man. This is nothing. This is gonna be wiped away in a, in a second, man. This is gonna be over for this place, man. And it's gonna be over by thermonuclear destruction. You know? Right. That's what's gonna knock America down, thermonuclear destruction. This is Revelation 18. It's going to be thermonuclear. Thermonuclear destruction. This is what's going to take America down. Right there. Thermonuclear destruction, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Thermonuclear destruction. Yeah, y'all need to get a look at it over there. Get a look at it. Thermonuclear destruction, man. That's how America's going out. ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles. Future prophecy, man. It's going to happen. Revelation 18. Revelation 18. And I'll start at 8. It says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning and famine 
and she shall be utterly burned with fire that she is America shall be utterly burned with fire for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges her it says strong is the Lord who judges her in one day man death and famine and pestilence gonna hit this place man it says verse 9 and the kings of the earth have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her right they they have they have taken in, in, in America's democracy they have lived off like the democracy that America pushes the other the other kings of the other nations they took that in they liked it because with democracy what your woman ain't got to be in order with democracy you have faggots running around everywhere with democracy you have lesbians running around you have a you have a metrosexual world running around with democracy you have a uh, 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 just straight up wickedness with democracy and the other kings have taken that in man and loved it and live deliciously off of it with democracy you take other you take lesser uh, countries that don't have uh, a strong uh, force to fight you you go into their countries and you take their natural resources Right? You bomb their places and make them third world, fourth world countries and take their resources. That's what the, that's what democracy brings. And all them other kings of the earth have lived deliciously right along with America, man. It says, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when she when they, they shall see the smoke of her burning. So after the Lord destroys America with this thermonuclear destruction, that smoke is gonna be seen from the other side. They gonna know that it's a burning on the, on this side. And they gonna and they gonna be sad when they see it. Because America is a, is a is a honey hole for a lot of them other countries to come make money in. They make money. They make livings off of America, man. You know? A lot of countries they come over here and make one dollar and send it back to their country and they got 50 of their dollars. 60, 70, 100 of their dollars. So a lot of people came over here and, and got rich out of this place. So when the Lord destroys this place, they're going to be sad. Because that, that old honey hole is going to be closed up. Like, like that's what I call a honey hole. You got a little fishing hole with a lot of fish in it. And when it dried up, you ain't like, damn, can't eat here no more. So it ain't going to be able to eat here, ain't it, you know? Ain't gonna be able to eat here no more. Verse 10, stand afar off for the fear of her torment. Say, the lost, the lost, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, America, for in one hour is thy judgment come. So in one hour, 